Good day kids! Here we are again with another episode of our Agriculture 6, Preparing Layout, Design of A and Orchard Garden. I am your teacher James Urbeo, and I hope you would listen attentively with the discussion I have prepared for you. So sit back and enjoy learning. Preparing the layout of an orchard is very important. The arrangement of seedlings of fruit-bearing trees must be carefully done to put the plants at a right distance according to the layout for proper development and for accommodating the required number of plants per unit area. The proper orchard layout has the following advantages. 1. Allow equal distance for each tree for uniform growth. 2. Allow easy orchard management like cultivation, intercropping, irrigation, spraying of plant protection chemicals, and growth regulators, harvesting etc. 3. Proper utilization of orchard space avoiding wastage of land for help and proper supervision and management of the orchard 5. Allow further extension of area from time to time as needed. Spacing of fruit trees. The provision of ideal spacing of fruit trees is one of the most important aspects in a successful fruit production. If the spacing is inadequate, the fruit trees will grow poorly, produce small quantity of fruits with low quality, and will suffer from various diseases and insect pests. On the other hand, if the spacing is too wide, there will be wastage of valuable orchard land without having any direct benefit on the ultimate yield of the orchard. Ideal spacing is therefore desired so that the fruit trees may grow and bear crops properly. Layout of an orchard garden. An orchard's layout is the technique of planting the crops in a proper system. The method of planting to be adopted is selected after considering the slope of land, purpose of utilizing the orchard space, convenience, etc. There are six, six methods of planting that are recommended for fruit bearing trees square method, rectangular method, triangular method, quincunx method, hexagonal method, and contour method. A square method. It is the simplest of all the method and is adopted widely. A plot is divided into squares, and trees are planted at the four corners of the square in straight rows running at right angles. Advantages of square method 1. Irrigation channels and paths can be made straight to easy cultivation, spraying, and harvesting 3. Better supervision. Disadvantages of square method 1. Limited trees can be planted in a given area 2. A certain amount of space is wasted in the middle of 4 trees. B. Rectangular method. A plot which is divided into rectangles instead of squares, and trees are planted at the four corners of the rectangle in straight rows running at right angles. The same advantages, which have been mentioned in the square system, are also enjoyed here. The only difference is that in this method more plants can be accommodated by keeping more spaces between the rows. Advantages of rectangular method 1. Irrigation channels can be made in length and with enough air passage to possible for intercropping. Disadvantages of Rectangular Method 1. Limited trees can be planted in a given area 2. A certain amount of space is wasted in the middle of four trees. See Triangular Method. In this method trees are planted just like the square method, but the plants in the second, 4th, 6th and other alternate rows are planted midway between the first, third, fifth, and such other alternate rows. This method has no special advantage over the square method except providing more open space for the trees and for intercrops. Advantages of Triangular Method 1. Additional income can be earned from the filler crop 2. Almost double the number of trees can be planted initially. 3. Full use of land is possible. Disadvantages of Triangular Method 1. Skills required to lay out the orchard 2. Trees in between may interfere the growth of the main crop 3. Spacing of the main crop is reduced the filler crop continues to grow. De Quincunx Method. This method of planting fruit trees is like the square method except that a fifth tree is planted at the center of each square. As a result, the tree number in a unit area becomes almost double the number in the square method. The additional tree in the center is known as filler. Advantages of Quincunx Method 1. Additional income can be earned from the filler crop 2. Almost double the number of trees can be planted initially 3. Full use of land is possible. Disadvantages of Quincunx Method 1. Skills required to lay out the orchard 2. Trees in between may interfere the growth of the main crop 3. Spacing of the main crop is reduced the filler crop continues to grow. E hexagonal method. It is a tree that are planted at the corners of an equilateral triangle and thus 6 trees from a hexagon with the 7th tree at the center. This method is generally followed where the land is costly and very fertile with enough provision of irrigation water. Advantages of hexagonal method 1. Ideal for fertile soil and with source of water 2. More trees can be planted 3. 
Same distance can be maintained for. More income can be obtained. Disadvantages of hexagonal method 1. Difficult intercultural operations 2. Skill is required to lay out the orchard. F contour method. It is generally followed on the hills with high slopes. It particularly suits to a land with undulated topography, where there is greater danger of erosion, and irrigation of the orchard is difficult. The main purpose of this method is to minimize land erosion, and to conserve soil moisture to make the slope fit for growing fruits. Advantages of contour method 1. Can be utilized in hilly areas and in leveled land 2. Helps controlling soil erosion. 3. Helps conservation of water. 4. Easy path for movements on the hill slopes for various tasks in the orchard. Ad Disadvantages of contour method 1. Difficult laying out of contour lines and time consuming 2. Requires special skills and instruments to make contour lines without the method 3. Not equal road or road distance and adjustments may be required in the plant to plant distance. Activity time. Direction draw layout design of your orchard garden based on your location, climate, and market demands. Location blank. Climate blank. Market demands blank. Remember, good site preparation and layout are extremely important in successfully establishing fruit plantings, eliminating potential problems before planning will reduce money and effort needed in later management practices for this long-term investment. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. James Urbeo for more learnings.